This is how court cases are reported on now. Can you record this for the 10 o'clock bulletin, please? In the district court today, Perth businessman. This is how it could be. WA Chief Justice Wayne Martin would like to see court proceedings streamed live. Before then, the first phase might be allowing journalists to tweet from court. The defendant walked in the front door and began firing at the ceiling and he demanded everyone empty their pockets. At the moment in WA, social media isn't allowed in our courts, but should it be? The system of justice we have is better when the broader public understands how it works and what goes on. When the mystery is taken away from it. Mr Smith, where were you on the night of the 18th of March? I was at home with my cat. I don't even own a rifle. That's a lie. There have been some exceptions. In the trial of high-profile lawyer Lloyd Rainey, proceedings were streamed live to a media room where journalists could tweet and file stories as the case unfolded. Alison Fan has covered every major court trial in Western Australia since the 70s and says Chief Justice Wayne Martin is the most progressive we've ever had. Wayne Martin, being a defamation lawyer in his previous life, had a lot of experience with the media and he understood how the media worked. And that's what it's about. It's about understanding what we do. Well, he's, he's opened the court. He's, he's the old saying that um, justice is not, you know, it's got to be seen to be done. Um, he's taken that right out of the the closet, so to speak. But it would be so much better for public's understanding or for the public's understanding of the sentencing process uh, were uh, one able to see the sentencing process actually unfold. The arraignment of the defendant, the taking of the plea or the uh, uh, remarks made by the sentencing judge setting up the reasons why a particular sentence is considered to be appropriate and just to the case. At first, um, anything like that would, would have frightened the courts because they think, oh, everything's intrusive, but they've just got to adapt to it and the public certainly using it all. Journalists and media organisations are well aware of the rules of reporting court proceedings. It was nothing peculiar. I, I was at home all morning with my cat. But if these new technologies aren't rolled out wisely, it's feared citizens who don't know what can and can't be said might unwittingly tweet something that could severely hinder or even abort a trial. Objection, Your Honour! If you post information that's inadmissible in court or uncover suppressed details, you're jeopardising a fair trial and can be charged with contempt of court. Penalties range from hefty fines to jail time and judges don't care if you're Joe Bloggs or David Koch. Posting online is a form of publishing and comments can spread fast. This year we've seen Darren Hinch find $100,000 for breaching a suppression order in the Jill Maher case. The serial offender posted information about the accused's criminal history on Twitter and his blog. Courts provide everything. Sex, violence, murder, mayhem. Shut it, you pompous old man! The same ingredients of a, you know, a best-selling novel or a top movie. You're going to have to come up with something better than that. The courts um, are a reflection of every day's, everyone's life. Your Honour, I'm merely answering the question. There's no better source of human interest stories than the court system. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, how do you find? Guilty. <laughs> The major courts in WA have been working to fix IT issues which have hindered the use of electronic devices. They say they're now close to a solution, so big changes may be just around the corner. So whether you're a journalist or an interested bystander, justice is serious business. The lesson? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Think before you tweet. Mistakes can prove costly. Tanya Phillips for Project WA.